Hi everyone, this is Tom with Good Sounds. Welcome back to our series on Palladium. Today we're going to walk you through the process of connecting Palladium to your mixer. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be connecting to a Behringer X32. Palladium is capable of controlling a large number of mixers, and you can find out which mixers those are and download their corresponding mixer files at goodsounddesign.com. Depending on your mixer, Palladium can employ MIDI or OSC commands, so you will need the appropriate cable that is right for your mixer, either some form of MIDI cable or MIDI interface or a standard Ethernet cable. Since we are connecting to the X32 and want to use OSC commands, we will need an Ethernet cable. We could also use a MIDI USB cable to control the X32, but the OSC protocol provides more powerful control of the mixer. By now, you have hopefully reviewed our other videos describing mic plot and palladium and are familiar with their operation. In our last video on Palladium, we imported a mic plot show file to get Palladium set up and ready to be connected to the mixer. You will need to connect your Ethernet cable between your computer and the remote Ethernet port on the back of the X32. We're going to assume that this cable was already in place prior to us importing the mic plot show file and setting up Palladium, like we did in our last video. Otherwise, you would want to have both your computer and the X32 off plug in your Ethernet cable, and then turn both units back on. Then you would open up Palladium and either open up the show file you created earlier or import a new mic plot show file and continue the process of setting up that show. Now that a Palladium show is ready to go, we want to select the setup button in the mixer window. This will open up the mixer setup window. This window contains a lot of information that will be displayed depending on the mixer file that you're going to select. Each mixer file should have all or most of the features that exist on your mixer, so you shouldn't have to make any alterations here. But you can choose what controls will be visible and adjustable. We aren't going to go into all of the options in this video, that will be left for a later date. For now, we're going to click on the file menu at the top and choose to open a new mixer file. Hopefully you've already downloaded the X32 mixer file from goodsounddesign.com. Now we locate the file and upload it into Palladium. Our mixer setup window will now reflect the features and functions of our mixer, including channel count, buses, DCAs, matrixes, and main faders. Your port should be assigned to port I and device should show 1. Now we can close out that window. Your mixer window on your main screen will now show more controls associated with your X32. We're almost done with the connection process. We need to select the OSC menu at the top of the screen. Select the port option and open the OSC ports window. We now need to input some specific information to allow your computer to talk to your mixer. You can choose to name this setup whatever you choose. We're going to name ours Good Sounds X32. The IP address is going to be the IP address that has been assigned to the X32. The port number is going to be 10023. The ping information is going to be backslash X remote. The period is going to be 9, and the throttle can remain off. If all of the information is correct, a green dot will appear on the right side of the window in the status column, indicating the computer and mixer are connected. Finally, we can select the Show menu and choose Remote Controls to open our Remote Control window. Here we can select the Remote Control file that comes with the X32 mixer file, so we can use our Mute Group buttons to navigate through our cues in Palladium. For this particular file that we've adjusted, Mute Groups 5 and 6 will be our previous and next navigation buttons. These assignments can be edited to better suit your needs, but we're not going to get into how to program that information now. That will be a video for another day. That should be all you need to get started running your show and having Palladium control your X32 mixer. Join us next time when we dive a little deeper into Palladium and see some of the additional features that are available to you. Thanks so much for your time. Please check us out on Facebook and Twitter and at goodsounddesign.com. And remember, if it can't be heard, it can't be good.